The following year, in March of 75, we found four people who were missing, but we only found skull parts there. We never found one other bone, which is real unusual. We found animal bones, so we knew we were searching good enough to find bones, but we didn't find a human bone other than just skull parts. The skulls found at Taylor Mountain gave them a grisly clue. They appeared to have decomposed at the same rate. In other words, you had girls basically that were missing in January, April, two in May, but the leaf fall, the growth of fine maple over the tops of them, all kind of had the same look to them. That wouldn't have happened if they were dumped at different times. It could lead to the conclusion that these individuals were killed and their bodies maintained in a particular place, uh, kind of stored up. Uh, and then when the perpetrator felt comfortable enough to move these skulls to a particular place, that's what happened.